Mass distribution nominal, approach vector clean. All systems green. Flash drift. Jump formation locked in. Gate sequence start. Please welcome back to the stage from Gearbox Publishing, Steve Gibson, and from Blackbird Interactive, Rob Cunningham. Hello, everyone. Thanks so much. Um, it's a pleasure to be here, and it is my profound, profound honor to announce today that thanks to Gearbox Publishing, Blackbird Interactive is making Homeworld 3, finally. Um, <laughs> Uh, to, <laughs> uh, to say that we're excited about this project is, is just a ridiculous understatement. Uh, and let me tell you why. Next month is the 20th anniversary, 20th yeah. anniversary of the first title in this franchise. And when we made Homeworld in 99, we thought the big deal was going to be that it was 3D, uh, you know, not <laughs> 2D. So it kind of tells you how far we've come as an industry since then. But we were actually completely wrong. Uh, the big deal with Homeworld was not that it was 3D. The big deal with Homeworld was the way it resonated with the fans, that, uh, the, way, the way it affected them, and, and the feedback that we've had over the years, the fan mail, the fan fiction, the fan art. Uh, in particular, the letters that people have written to us, the personal letters that they've written to us. They've taken the time to articulate why they connected with it how it resonated with them and, and, and you know, how it inspired them. So you know, it was that emotional connection that mattered to us and it really touched us. And um, you know, much more than an artistic or technical achievement, which is, of course, so quickly you know, blown away by the next amazing thing. So when the opportunity came with Steve and his team to make Homeworld 3 finally, we thought, you know, what are we going to do here? And we thought, you know, obviously what we're going to do is make this thing an absolute love letter to the Homeworld fans that have been wanting this thing for so long and give them exactly what they want. And we know exactly what the Homeworld fans want. They want just massive spaceships fighting it out in space, epic fleet combat on a massive scale. They want gorgeous spectacular, immersive environments. They want a story that follows the story of Homeworld 2 uh, in, an, in a satisfying way that is true to the spirit of the original game and, and you know, true to its roots. Uh, you know, and most of all, they want that special sort of Homeworld tone and vibe uh, that, that you know, the, the brand is known for. So you know, we're going to do all these things. And then we're like, OK, well, how are we going to do that? And the way we're going to do that is by putting together an absolute perfect team of individuals, of talents who have the chemistry, the history, the familiarity with the IP to pull this off. So we're talking about concept director Aaron Cambitz, who was the original lead artist on the Homeworld games. We're talking about Paul Ruske, audio composer. Paul's done all the music on every Homeworld game ever made. He's going to be doing the music on this, too. And of course, Rory McGuire and the development team at Blackbird Interactive, many of whom are Homeworld development franchise uh, veterans. So, you know, I think with this perfect team of individuals, we can deliver a worthy and authentic sequel uh, into the franchise that the fans, you know, want, uh, they expect, and Lord knows they deserve. So, uh, thank you to Steve and his team at Gearbox Publishing for making this happen. Huge thank you and much love to the Homeworld fans and the fan community, and thank you guys here at PAX today. Thanks very much. <laughs>
Uh, man, Rob covered a lot of it. <laughs> it is uh, much like it is for uh, Rob. This is a, uh, a labor of passion for us at Gearbox. This franchise, Homeworld, is, is the reason that we got into the world of becoming a publisher and got into the world of you know, helping other developers bring their games in, in front of so many people. Uh, we owe this to the franchise. We owe this to the Homeworld community. We have to do this. And as part of that, uh, we decided actually to do an open development and publishing schedule where you see uh, on the URL behind me or wherever you're looking at it, uh, we did a, a partnership with FIG. Now, uh, FIG has a, a bunch of tools that's the, the help you communicate and tell everybody how this is going else. It also allows people to get in um, if they actually wish to invest into the financial future of the game, and you can actually get a reward on that. Uh, because really, uh, it's about giving back to the franchise that they gave us so much, and we are just thrilled to death to be a part of the Homeworld uh, IP. And in fact, we want to do more with Homeworld, uh, so we're going to do that too. Um, so. We're doing uh, one more thing. We're doing Homeworld on mobile as well. Now, it's a separate game uh, being made uh, by our friends over at Stratosphere Games. And uh, it's going to be actually coming out next year. And we decided that anybody who participates in the FIG campaign that, uh, that Rob's got going over at FIG, they're also going to be the first guys to get to play Homeworld Mobile when it comes out next year. Uh, and we have a cute little teaser for you guys to check out. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.